good morning students and today also we'll continue off with a revision right and a reminder for you all that your revision tests are going to start uh, from 28th and the test uh, schedule has also been shared in your respective whatsapp groups okay and the syllabus also all the subject teachers have shared right and today i'm going to revise uh, one writing skill and one chapter and if there's any other chapter any doubt that you have you want me to discuss that we can do that also okay anyone any doubts and uh, i have given you your activity for internal assessment and i want you to submit that so 30th november there you have to submit it by then that is a last date right and only uh, i think so a few students have sent me others also please do your work quickly and send it otherwise then you'll get busy with your exams and with your learning and everything okay right so today we're going to do letter writing so that is uh, the long writing skill of your uh, syllabus right the short writing ones we have discussed that was your um, what notice and poster making isn't it so that we had discussed yesterday so today what are we going to do we're going to do letter writing and as you all know in your syllabus what is all included there is a letter to the editor okay describing any kind of situation or any problem that is there you're dealing with in your uh, locality in your surroundings or which you have seen happening around you so you want to get that you want to address that issue you want to bring that issue to the notice right of the public to you know, like highlight that problem so for that it is a letter to the editor right so we'll discuss them individually also letter to higher authorities and you have your business letters okay so let's start with the first one so when we do the letter to the editor yes things that we have to remember when we write here what is there the difference here when you talk about the letter to the editor or the letter to the higher authorities or the business letters it is the format is also a little different that is your address the sender's address here when we write your the letter to the editor Right, generally, of course, you write down examination hall X Y Z city. That is it. And of course, if an address is given, depending on the question which is there, if the address is given to you, you will be using that address, right? And yes, to the editor of a leading newspaper, he will be the receiver. Okay, right? So here it would be yes, your examination hall X Y Z city. If the address is not given, and we know that to the editor. say uh, the tribune or uh, indian express hindustan times yes what times of india any leading news paper that you want to write or if it is given there in the question once again please read the question thoroughly if the address is given there you will use that otherwise you can make one on your own right and yes so here like supposing if you have to write a letter to the editor regarding a certain problems that you notice around you right and of course it is nowadays everybody is talking about flouting the rules regarding social distancing regarding the covid 19 here isn't it so we'll do something else beyond that right so we can also talk about uh, like in your colony it could be that how people have encroached the roads right so whether it is for making their gardens or it could be yes uh, for the parking space there and it becomes difficult for the residents right so it is there you want to highlight this issue to talking about the encroachment of the roads in your area what is encroachment to occupy illegally to go into that area which is not there and we see that it happens you know some homes yes so they have big lavish homes but they want that little piece of land outside their home or which extends into the road and that is where they want to make their garden or where they want to make their parking space right so it creates a lot of problem for the common people right 
Yes, of course, authorities have to be very strict about it because as the number of vehicles are increasing on the road, yes, we need space to drive. And because of that encroachment, it could be, yes, you know, like what the traffic jam that is happening. And when you are there in the residential area, you keep on hearing the honking of the horns and the, you know, like the traffic there moving or the cars there on the road, it does cause a lot of inconvenience. So you can make the suggestion. So whenever we write a letter to the editor, yes, here about the format, the sender, you are the sender, write the date, write the receiver, okay? And of course here, your subject, please start your to highlight whatever problem that you want to talk about, right? After your salutation, you could write, dear sir, even only sir is acceptable, okay? Right, then you have, what is it? Give your introduction, right? Generally, this would be more or less for other uh, letters also. Give your introduction, right? Then when you give the purpose of writing the pro letter, highlight the issue, okay? That you are talking about. And once again, when we talk about any problem, when we talk about any issue that we want, we have to give the suggestion also, right? So you have to give a suggestion to that problem, okay? So how can we stop people from encroaching the roads? How can we do that? If the authorities are very strict regarding, you know, like about the buildings there, about the houses and about the planning there, and if there's a regular check up that is happening in the areas, so then uh, all this problem which are created by the public for the inconvenience of others, they would stop. So there are other things also that happen, you know, like we are there, we think that the roads, they belong to us. We also notice it is not only this kind of encroachment, but so during the functions also, family functions also. So people, they put the tents and everything on the road and they just block the road. It creates a lot of inconvenience, right? So once again, we do think that it's a happy moment in their life. So why should we disturb them? And, uh, but sometimes people do not find another way to go, right? So it is a big problem for them. They have to go back a long distance and, you know, like uh, retrace their route, right? So yes, yeah, so in certain cases, it does create a lot of problems, right? So yes, yeah, so we will, what are we going to talk about? Talk about the problem there. And we are going to talk about the suggestions also. When we do talk about a problem in any letter, give a possible solution, right? Okay, then of course, yes, we'll give a conclusion to that. That, that as law-abiding citizens, as dutiful citizens, it is of utmost importance that we take care about the convenience of others, that we don't create problems for others. So if uh, we uh, make sure that uh, we make the layout of our homes properly, we don't encroach the lands and we abide by all the rules and regulations, then uh, every colony would be a peaceful place to live in. And yes, if people do want to set up the, you know, like the tents over there in the middle of the road, you can inform the residents a prior, uh, you know, day in advance or make, uh, you can uh, say certain, um, a, a kind of a, what you can call it a sign there at uh, the turning point. So the people who are not aware of it, at least they can go back and just make the necessary changes. Okay. So letter to the editor about any situation, any problem which is happening in your locality, around your locality, maybe while you're traveling on the bus you noted, or, or things which you feel need to be highlighted in the society, okay? Right? It, uh, it could be, yes, the lack of uh, parks which are there for the students or the children there to play outside. It uh, could be, yes, the number of uh, accidents that are increasing because of the reckless driving by the teenagers, yes? So all that, and it is they're very sad to note that the number of road accidents increasing because we are giving more and more vehicles to our youngsters. 
who are not sensible enough to drive, you know, unknown, supervised on the roads. So letter to the editor, any situation, any problem that you would want to discuss. Now coming on to the next kind of letters, that is a letter to your higher authority. Here it is also, I would say, a little similar to what we write to the editor, but what we have to focus on is that whom are we addressing our problem to? We are not addressing our issues to the editor of a newspaper, but we are discussing this issue with the higher authority, the concerned higher authority. So we should be aware of that in case of such a situation, if I want to write a letter, which authority am I going to deal with? Isn't it right? So supposing once again in your colony, there is a lot of problem of law and order law on order that you've noticed that in the past a couple of weeks, a lot of snatching incidents have happened and maybe a house was there, the occupants had gone away on a vacation or on a holiday and uh, their house was robbed after that, right? So you are very scared about uh, the these incidents which are happening and you want to bring it to the notice of the higher authorities, right? Of course, you have maybe discussed it with the residents of the area, you have discussed it with the, the people who are living in the colony and uh, suitable measures that could be there. So when we do talk about law and order, when we do talk about uh, the problems here, naturally we are going to uh, refer this matter to the police, isn't it, right? So we talk about the senior officer that is there, who, the police senior police officer who is there in your area in that division which is there. So he will look in, you can write a letter to that, okay? So yes, so like we have, you know, the SHO, we have a designation, right? So we have other senior police officers depending upon the gravity or the seriousness of the issue. So you can write down here to the area, SHO, that he can look into that uh, problem and please just discuss what your problem is, right? That in the past a couple of weeks, a number of incidents of chain snatching and robbery have happened and uh, the, uh, you know, like the residents, they are not uh, feeling safe at all to leave their homes unattended. And sometimes you have to go home, you can't always leave someone behind. And then you can say in spite of the CCTV cameras, this incident has happened. And one of them, it could have happened in broad daylight. So naturally you want that, uh, yes, uh, the patrolling of that area should be there. And so that a confidence building measure there. And if the uh, people have lodged a complaint, at least action should be taken. And of course, if it is a regular feature that is happening, that means some people are there nearby operating and doing this. So it, that matter should be looked into, right? So secondly, it could be another issue. Say, supposing you want to talk about uh, that uh, the area here in your, it is very littered, there's a lot of garbage, right? And uh, the person there who's supposed to come to pick up is not coming regularly. As a result, and of course, we people are there in a habit of uh, dumping uh, our garbage on any vacant place that we see which gives a, a very bad look to your colony also, right? So imagine you enter your colony and you see this garbage dump, it, it is going to give you a very unpleasant feeling, right? And yes, here, yeah, so the people also should be sensible enough to make sure that yes, if uh, the person they're collecting the garbage is not coming, they should not go and dump it around elsewhere. Okay, so you want to talk about this problem that maybe there's not a person, you know, coming regularly to pick up the garbage. So you can talk to the concerned authorities, right? So maybe, yes, you can talk to the Right, so you can ask them to look into the matter. You can ask them to deal with this issue. Okay, right. So here it is. Now, supposing it is, say, regarding your uh, school work, okay, so maybe regarding your loss of uh, certificates, 
Yeah, you lost your certificate. You want a new one made. You lost your mark sheet. And you want another one made. You want to, uh, you know, like uh, get another one issued here. So naturally, this is not what your school is going to do. You will have to talk to the higher authority. You will go to the concerned, uh, what, uh, the regional CBSC office there and uh, they you will write a letter to them and asking them to give you a duplicate certificate giving that uh, reason that why you need it obviously you have lost it misplaced it maybe and uh, giving your roll number and uh, the, the year and all the de details here and uh, you can get it what reissued here Okay, although nowadays we do talk about digitalization and everything, but yes, uh, we are there until until we don't have that physical copy of it. So we do not feel uh, we require it also later on in your life, you'll be requiring that certificate. So it is very important. Okay, so here, higher authorities, right? You want, you are, say, the manager of a publication house and you want to take permission to organize an exhibition in a school, right? Or you want to conduct certain classes here, you know, like certain activities in the school. So you want, you need permission there. So you're going to talk to the higher authorities here, right? So that is the, like here, so maybe regarding your uh, timings of the exam, you want to discuss that as a parent, you're writing the, to the school principal that uh, your child is uh, not, uh, you know, like able to attend maybe the classes uh, here for a couple of weeks because he has important uh, coaching classes or training that he has to go for sports or something. So you need a little flexibility in the time, or maybe you need to talk about the practical to be postponed there. So naturally, as a student, you write an application. So if you are writing a letter to your principal, that would be your application that you're writing. If your parents are writing it, it would be a formal letter. Naturally, they're not writing an application. They would be writing a formal letter talking about the issue. Okay, right. Then we talk about, yes, the next important letters that we are going to do, discuss. It is... The business letters. Naturally, business letters, they are written with the purpose of conducting business. And when we do start off, uh, uh, you know, like here with a business letter. So let's say first letter, it could be to inquire, to ask your letter of inquiry. You want to buy a product but you want to know more about it. You will not, obviously you want something and you want to settle for the best. If you're going to spend your money, you want the best quality. So you are going to make queries, maybe not only one place, but maybe one or more. So here regarding your product that you want, regarding the services that you want, you will write that letter. So letter of inquiry, always, always the address is given of the receiver you are the sender, you will write your address over there. Okay, so make sure that you get the format correct. Now, letter of inquiry here, if it is, it could be about a product that you want, you want an appliance, right? You want, okay, so it could be about books that you want, right? It could be like, say, hosiery material, it could be about uh, what clothes. So any kind of product, it could be about a vacation or a trip that you want to plan for your family. Okay, right, or a, a trip for your school students, a vacation there that you're planning there. So you want to make inquiries regarding that. Now, when we do write a letter of inquiry, Please, students, think that we have to remember your queries in the form of interrogative sentences. You are going to ask these questions and not necessarily, yeah, you're not going to list them one to 10 that these are my queries and I'm giving you a questionnaire and you send me all the replies. They will be written in a form of a paragraph, okay? Right here, so naturally, so if when we are writing our letter of inquiries, first of all, we will 
as always, after you have done the format, your uh, salutations and your subject here, you start off giving your introduction. So whether it's the first time you are conducting business with them, first time you are going to that hotel, first time you're going to buy such a product here. So you can give that introduction or are you a regular customer? You can give that, okay? Right? Then yes, here we write down our purpose. So purpose is to make inquiries about that. You want to make inquiries about a certain product. So when we are making these inquiries, you are going to ask questions. Right, okay. So if it is about an appliance, you want to, right? Or it could be you want to buy uh, something for your school laboratory. You want to buy books for your library. So you will ask questions about the duck and specifying your requirements, okay? Like, yes, so which, uh, like suppose you want to buy a refrigerator to talk about the capacity of the refrigerator is there any particular color in mind whether it is your single door or double door right and of course yes we are always looking for some kind of benefit are they offering any kind of uh, discounts right so you can ask that so these four or five questions you can just frame and of course you just say do you do i need to book it before or is it available on immediate you can uh, say what delivery isn't it right and uh, so you can ask these questions. If you are going on a vacation, if you are taking your students on a trip, right? So you can ask the relevant questions. You want to make bookings in a hotel, right? Because it's always if you're taking students along with you. So obviously you want to do things in advance so that your students do not face any kind of problem, okay? So you are going to make inquiries about, first of all, give your approximate date so you have a tentative date in mind when you want to go right so whether it's in december or january when you want to go right ask about those tentative dates then ask about the availability of the rooms how many rooms you want whether it is for yourself whether it is for your students any other thing particular you know you can talk about the meals there you want to, right of course generally yes you have any preference regarding the meals if it is for the students do they have, uh, you know, like maybe uh, like a hostel which could be there for the youngsters, right? So you taking along with uh, you, maybe you're like maybe 20 uh, children are there accompanying you. So you need uh, accommodation for them. So if they have uh, some kind of a hostel for accommodating the students, they can give you that information, right? So if you are taking a parents on a vacation, if there's a senior citizen with you, do you need any special facilities for that person? Naturally, you would want to hear, like, naturally climbing the stairs is going to be an issue you want on the ground floor, right? Sometimes the elevator might cause a problem, okay? Then, yes, do you need uh, the transport facility? You need a pick and drop facility from the airport or the railway station? Yes, so you're going to specify that also. Your uh, duration of stay, like four days, five days, three days, however many days you are going to stay there. And of course, once again, you can ask for discount. You will ask for that, not because you're booking it in, in advance and all, any kind of advance or any kind of uh, offer which is there, okay? And uh, yes, so asking for a response when you want the booking to be done and tell about the availability. And yes, you want an early reply, so that in case that uh, is in the negative, you can make alternative arrangements, okay? Right, <coughs> so about an inquiry. Inquiry questions, frame the paragraph, okay? And ask questions about the product, about your services that you want, right? About catering services, anything there. Then we have about placing an order, okay? You want to place an order. Maybe you've already had a discussion here regarding the placing of, regarding the query, what other products you want to buy. And now you have made up your mind that yes, these things, they suit me, they're within my budget and I can place an order for that, okay? So once again, the 
content part first of all give your introduction give your purpose of writing the letter here it is that you want to place the order now when you place the order here make sure that the order is done in a nice neat manner so we make this table here for your content right so it is there very very noticeable that this is your order right so your serial number your particulars here your quantity quality all this you will write out okay yes yeah, so what is it your serial number your particulars particular here what is it that you want you want the books here you want uh, your hosiery material you want crockery what is it you want sports material whatever it is that you want okay then you talk about the quality or your here it is a brand name in particular you want anything if it is about uh, you are aware about it so sports good and all right for your crockery which you want and here it is your quantity okay after you have placed your order this way in this box what are you going to do you are going to mention a few things one is when do you want them to be delivered please mention this right the date of receipt you want these goods to be delivered give that date okay then any advance payment are you doing okay ask about transport facilities naturally these things uh, first of all if a transportation is involved these things you can ask uh, beforehand also when you making your inquiries that for transportation are you going to give the money or not is it going to be included right and of course here most importantly please specify the date when you want your stuff any advance payment that you are enclosing and how, how or the payment would be on receipt of the goods okay and yes about the transportation facilities and once again you want them to be very very careful with your stuff so you want them to take great care in delivering them right okay so this is about placing an order fine clear yes and uh, your conclusion and everything that is the same as you have to do that right because naturally the conclusion kind of winds up everything it gives a very formal touch to it right so yes once again that uh, it's my humble request for you to send the these goods at the date that has been discussed earlier give a reminder of the date and that uh, you expect the arrival by such time okay fine now letter of complaint here is a little problematic area that we have when we do our letter of complaint we have of course we should have a relevant complaint and uh, okay i'll just tell you all so when we do start with the letter of complaint what is the format again give your introduction okay talk about the product that you bought okay so if it was the you know books that were delivered to you or it was the clothes that were delivered to you the crockery that was delivered to you or the sports material there or any appliance that you had ordered anything that was there delivered talk about that the product that you received then talk about the problem that you had okay the problem that you have or the complaint that you have just discuss that very politely let us not get aggressive let's not start off with that i'll see you in consumer court i'm going to complain against you and i'll do this and that i'm not threatening here this is a letter we have to be very controlled and formal and in very polite way we have to put across our complaint okay that is what we are talking about okay so you talk about the problem you give your complaint what is the issue there so if it's a gadget what uh, what it's not working or it was working it got stuck and it is not uh, you know like in working condition there maybe it could your air conditioner it's not cooling or the remote is not working whatever the the problem that you have to discuss 
it is was clothes that you had ordered about the color about the size about the quality right and the colors may be not fast enough the colors running so maybe you had or ordered some jackets for your students and yes so all the colors may be mixed up and whatever the names the numbers that you wanted written they were not appropriately done all these things the books that you had ordered right the number of books it could be less or more if you more they returning it okay then less uh, about the pages you can talk about isn't it about the condition of the books so some of them had the pages torn some had the pages torn the color was they very yellowish which was not suggesting that these are new books the edition of the book you had asked for the latest edition and maybe they sent you 2016 and 17 right so you want to you know return those books fine so all these complaints here regarding the goods that you received and once again give very polite suggestions what is the suggestion that you have that is you want to return it you want a replacement it's within the warranty okay and yes so just because it's a small world where we are dealing with each other we where we are conducting business we're going to run each other again do not end on a negative note let's not be very bitter and very harsh we are very polite enough and decent enough so we are going to put across our problems in a nice good manner okay clear right so this is about letter writing here and once again a reminder please go through the syllabus for your english pt3 the complete syllabus would be tested that is hornbill we have completed and snapshots whatever chapters we have done so please make sure that you revise them and of course all the writing skills plus your note making right so any doubts any questions that you have you can ask me you can use either word it is the same only right it is the same noun and a verb that's it there is no much of a difference tushar okay tushar is attending the class it's nice good to see you all so once again any doubts you most welcome to ask me any time i love it when you do uh, get uh, time to ask uh, your questions and you wake up from the deep slumber and uh, right it's nice to see you all active so all the best and uh, we'll just uh, see do well right okay any doubts anything else 